Hello everybody, I'm Derek Tabbers. Welcome to Truck Mechanic Simulator 2015. Vroom. <laughs> Vroom. <laughs> There's usually music here. I had to turn it off because I think it's copyrighted music. All right, so we are going to, let's start. Doo -doo -doo. Profiles, let's create a new profile. I have a test profile, which we are deleting. Goodbye, test profile. All right, yeah, Tabbers. Safe. All right, are we ready? Let's go be truck mechanics because nothing can go wrong. What do we got? Free? Oh, that's locked. All right, career mode. Nothing can go, nothing will go wrong. It's okay. Welcome to Truck Mechanic Simulator. Nearby the radio, click the mouse button. Woo, whoa, hey, hello. Hey, it's just like uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. Woo! Wow, I'm going to get seasick doing that. All right, let's walk over here. Boop, 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 boop. On. Yay, us. Go to the jack, switch it to the upper position. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Can I... Ah, uh, you can't get to the... Okay, uh, never mind. I was going to change the settings, but we'll we'll deal with it. Oh, look. Whoa. Wow, I hope it's not a tall truck. Oh, hello. Okay, time to start our job. I thought we were doing our job. Aha! Repair order number one. Okay, go away. I, I can figure this out. Change the cooler. Check the cooler hoses on our Petrobit 3X from 1989. The water from the cooler is leaking. Can you check it out? $400. Sweet. Uh, yeah, thanks. Go away. Wow, look at our Petrobit. That is, um... That is a big... That's a big truck. I do think he kind of has a problem here. I'm just going to point this out. I'm going to report this to the owner. That looks like it's going to scrape, but nice and shiny. Look at that. Even the reflect. Oh my goodness. They, they did well. Look at the reflections. Oh, it reflects. That's so cute. Okay. Let's, um, what do you want us to do? Oh, oh, come on. We played car mechanic simulator. We can do this. Open the hood. That's a big engine. All right. Engine. Okay, pull back a little bit. All right, I need to disassemble. I want that thing, right? Yeah, so, okay. Remove the coupler line. Whoop. Yay, I bet you there's another one. Ha-ha! Remove the coupler line. Not gonna have you. Can I has you now? I can has you now. Okay. Oh, the cooler is 22%. All right, uh, no. There, escape. Escape. Uh, all right, apparently I have to order a new cooler. Car parts store, car parts. Yes, because these are totally car parts. Cooler, cooler. Container mounting rear right, that's great. Cylinder head, crankshaft, cooler. Yes. Yay, us, okay, go away. All right, let's uh, install our cooler. Oh, go away. Go away. Thank you. Uh, assemble mode. Assemble. Cooler. Thingamajiggy. Yeah, that hose clamp works. Swing around, do -si do Oop, that's a thing. There. There. Da -da -da! Yeah, close. Go away. All right, so we put that on. Let's uh, pull this up. Check the cooler hoses. Oh, no. Right. Okay. Uh, ah, examine condition. Condition, please. Okay. I would recommend a replacement in the next 100,000 miles. <laughs> yeah, I'd recommend both those being replaced relatively soon. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That would be my recommendation. Uh, yes, go. Ah, no, 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 stop. Ah, good lord, game. Repaired. Yes. Repair order number two. Okay, go away. Check. Go away. Okay, check the Serpentine belt. Replace the broken part. It's a Kenworst 100K from 1984. There is no voltage in the car. Could you check what's wrong? 
What's wrong is it's a truck, not a car, but we'll get... Oh, that is pink. This must be Stocko's truck. I'm just thinking. Just thinking this this must be Stocko's truck. Walk around this thing. Look at that. Um, I think it's a... Yeah. It's... um. Open the door. No, I don't really need to open the door. Let's... Uh, uh, how do I get in? Uh, ah, open the cab. Ooh. Wow. It's like almost no room. We almost didn't have enough room for that. All right, what are we what are we doing again? A thing, a thing. Ah, oh, yeah, no voltage, low voltage problems. Let's find. Let's go to our examine condition thingamajiggy. Okay, condition of that looks good. Cannot examine that. Con nope. Of course, just like. Okay, that's just like car mechanic. All right, so remove that. Okay, 10% on the alternator. That's no good. All right, can I repair it? Can I repair it? Can I repair I could have repaired the cooler. Oh my gosh. What do you got here? 97 US to repair it. Okay, I'm going to say no for a second. Um, let me go to my inventory really quick. Let's sell this thing. Yes. All right. So 97 to repair. Let's go over here. And let's just see what it would cost to buy a new. I'll do. Whoa, 200. Oops. Nope. Not that one. 200. Yeah, we're repairing this puppy. Repair the puppy. Repair the puppy. Why did you do that game? Oh, I don't know. Uh, yes. All right. Puppy is repaired. Now let's put the puppy back in the truck. I'm just going to say this. Um, don't actually put puppies in your truck. It's not a good idea. They don't run well. And they eat a lot of food. So, because they're puppies and they're growing. I'm just saying. All right, let's put the serpentine belt on here. Mounted. I'd recommend you uh, get that serpentine belt replaced in the next, I don't know, uh, several thousand miles, give or take. Just saying. All right. Pair order. Check and check. Repaired. Yeah. So it cost us 90 bucks, so we would have made two chain, two and change. Replace the front wheel brakes on our fright, no, fighter line, a fighter line Coco Jumbo from 2006. The front brakes are worn out. Can you replace them? $400 is our budget. All right. That is a Coco liner. <laughs> Front brakes. Front brakes. Wheels. Wheels. Boop. Boop. Oh, all the nuts. All the nuts. It's like a funny farm. Or a pecan farm. Or pecan farm. Depends on how you want to pronounce it. Pecan or pecan. All right. Pull that off. Those are definitely brake pads. Should I let's let's examine the condition of things. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. I'm going to give you a pass, my friend. I'm going to give you a pass on all that stuff. That's that's looking good. All right. Around the corner here. Get this off. Arr. They're, they're, I was going to say walnuts. No, they're not. They're tire nuts. Were walnuts named walnuts because they look like walls? That's not, no, that doesn't make any sense. Pull that off of there. Let's inspect that. Looks good. That also looks good. And that also looks good. Okay, good. You have lots of goodness going on, my friend. Lots of goodness. Can I repair anything? I don't think I could. It breaks. Okay, uh, for, I can repair brakes for $44. That's got to be cheaper than buying them. 44 and 43. I've just repaired them, but now let's check and see what the actual price would have been if I bought them. 44 brakes. Yep, much cheaper. Sweetness. Look at us being all awesome and stuff. Assemble. Put that brake pad on. Put that cover on. Put the tire on. 
I know that you would technically torque the opposite sides. I know that, but it's a game and we're going to go around in circles because it's easier. And the game doesn't actually care. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, it'd be cool if it did. Would it be? Would it actually be? I don't know. I don't know. It might be. They actually put the nuts on in that sequence, I think. We'd have to slow it down. But maybe. I'm going to go in circles until the game tells me otherwise. Woo! All right. Did we do all the things? We did all the things. We are repaired. Give me my 400. All right. Replace the clutch plates on our fighter liner Coco Jumbo from 2006. This is the same guy. No, it's a very purple truck. I have a problem with drive. The clutch is strongly sliding. Your English is strongly lacking. Oh, God. How do you get to the clutch on something like this? It's got to be done from the underside. It's got to come from the underside, right? Okay, clutch is a transmission attachment, so we're going to have to remove a drive shaft. Drive shaft. Wow. Okay, so let's... Uh, all right, so we need to remove a drive shaft. Hmm. Okay, I want you to go away. Is that a... Appears to be a... Is there a... Ah, there's a thing right there. Nope, nope, that. Yes. And that. Cool. Okay, so that's those two things. Now let's go up here. Uh, some things have not changed from uh, Car Mechanic Simulator. Terrible, terrible screen positioning. Good lord. Get that out of there. Whatever that is. Okay, let's remove our drive shaft. hoi -ya! That's heavy. Drive shaft extension. Okay. A, what is this thing? A shaft joint. Okay, I can't remove that yet. Aha! What are you? Starter! Let's get the starter out of here. Starter's out. Can I remove this now? I can. I seem, to re I seem to recall this is a lot fewer bolts than on the car mechanic. <clears throat> now, we will do car mechanic simulator 2015 eventually. Okay, let's remove. What is this thing? This would be our, Okay, clutch clamp. Oh, look at the clutch back there. Oh, that looks horrid. Okay, now let's pull our clutch plate off. All right, so while we're in here, just so that we don't get hit with something else later, that looks good. Okay. All right, so that's that. Uh, can we repair the clutch plate? I don't think you can repair a clutch plate. Nope. All right, let's go get ourselves a new clutch plate, everybody. Part store clutch plate. There you are. 150 bucks. Oh my goodness, how much is this job? 500. Oh. I ain't making a heck of a lot on this job, are we? Symbol mode. Put the clutch plate on. That's a nice, beautiful clutch plate. Clamp on. So I'm only charging 500 to drop a transmission and put a new clutch on. I don't think so. And I had to pay for the clutch plate. That's 150, so I'm really not making that much. Put the tranny on. That's, that's like shade tree mechanic level of pricing there. It's like maybe, maybe, um, I'm married to this guy's sister or, uh, you know, I, I might've run over his dog or something. So he's using his leverage. I can't think of a reason why I would charge only 500 for that. I don't know. Truck drivers, you can speak up, but I think that replacing your clutch is a lot more than uh, a couple hundred bucks. Oh, good Lord. Now I got to... Get around here. There it is. Okay. Put the shaft cross bearing in. And the other... Come on. Here you are. 
Other shaft cross bearing in. Now, can I can I jump back to the back, do you think? Ugh, no. Do, 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 do. All right, let's see if we can get around here to get the other shaft cross bearing in. Right there. Okay, that's one. And... Oh, go in. Shaft cross bearing in. Uh, where's the... Come on down, Frightliner. No, Fighter Liner, whatever your name. We're going to call you a Frightliner. Frightliner. Place the clutch plate. Repaired. You owe me a... What? Truck is incomplete. Ha! <laughs> right, let's sell the clutch plate for 11 bucks. Um, yeah, we probably should put that on. Just thinking you might want to start the truck. Do, 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 do. Who needs a starter? Starter. I call it a lazier. That's what it is. A lazier. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. So this is the start of our career in Truck Mechanic Simulator. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. I've been Derek Tepper. This is Truck Mechanic Simulator 2015. This is our, what is this thing? Fighter Liner, Fighter Line. Oh, geez. Freight Shaker, Coco Jumbo. That's a stupid name. We didn't make any money on this. No, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll mark it as repaired. We'll come back. We'll do another job. Sound good? I think it sounds great. Cool. All right. Until then, I've been Derek Tubbers. Don't, don't let me work on your truck. It's a really bad idea.